Hi, Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel. Today's chat, do you have a dent in your car, your fridge, or in this case, motorbike tank? Yes, I do. So, that's a check there, isn't it? I don't know if you can see it any better, but it is black. Hopefully you can see there is a dent there. Now, flooding the internet, especially Facebook, seems to be this gadget that shows you people just sticking these sort of things with a glue gun and going it, 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 and dents out. Hmm. So we're going to put this to the test. There's lots of different kits out there. Some come with a really like tiny little glue gun. I have quite a good glue gun compared to some of the little cheap ones you get. And I've got an industrial one as well. In my pack, I didn't opt for the glue gun because I had it or a nice fancy bag because I didn't need that. So I got five glue sticks that fit my glue gun. So check. I got the gadget and I got a bag of, well, lots of different shapes, to be honest with you. Um, no instructions, no understanding of how to do it. Is it self-explanatory? And if it is, then why'd you get so many of these? So yesterday I tried it on the wife's fridge. Wasn't impressed. Asked permission first. So I blobbed the glue on and of course it sat straight and I stuck one of these on, I left it for a few minutes and I pop, 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 popped it off and it did absolutely bugger all. So, <laughs> I'm gonna try it on the petrol tank. Now, if I could get to the other side of this petrol tank, I could probably just pop it out anyway. But it clearly shows you on the adverts that these sort of dents in the tank, and I really hope you can see this, these dents in the tank easily pop out. Now, maybe in the better kits, I think some are 40, 50 quid, um, gives you an instruction manual. So, I don't like instruction when it's best of time, so I'm going to have a go at this without it on this one. Looks back right. I'm going to bob a big bit of glue on there, stick it on, let it dry, and then try it. Now, again, I didn't know if you're supposed to go really quickly and try and get it up, or really slowly and sort of wobble it a bit out. A little bit of adjustment on the back here. Originally, the advert, I thought it was like a ratchet system, so as you clicked it, it pulled it out, but it doesn't. It just literally goes in and out. So, I don't know, we're gonna give it a go. Right, my glue gun is lovely and hot. I'm now gonna blob some glue on here, like it showed. Quite a large bit. It's very, very hot, this glue. Now, I wanted to make sure that it was really hot, so, you know, it was gonna bond, and I'm pretty sure that's done its job of bonding on there. A little bit tacky. So I'm gonna let that cool down. Freezing cold November day, this is. Freezing cold, minus one outside at present minute, and yeah, I'm still in my shed working on bikes. For those who don't know what I do, I mess around in the shed fixing bikes, mopeds, doing servicing, vlogs, and chat, basically. So uh, yeah, this is the first video watching of mine. Put Mark Savage in and check some others out as well. Right, I'd say that's pretty hard there now, but I'm gonna give it a minute, and then I'm gonna set this up. It's the only way I know how, which is guessing. Put these little clamps down. Now when I did the fridge, I obviously worked out that this here allows this to go in and out. So I literally want it so it's nicely on there, which it is now. So you just literally slot that on like that. And wiggle, 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 and it's on. So wiggle, wiggle, and I guess that needs tightening a little bit so I've got not so much play in it. So let's try tightening that. And that's what I show in the advert. So I'm gonna move that up uh, so the glue's free. And then I'm gonna see if it pops out. Should I do it in just one little click? I mean, the advert sort of showed that or I'm tempted just to see if it does it that way. Let's give it a go. Personally, I think it's just gonna pop off. We'll see. And it did exactly what I thought it'd do. It did look like it was gonna pull it off and lift it up, but instead this thing just came flying off. So I'm gonna uh, give it another go. I'm gonna get this glue off the bike, hopefully. And then I'm going to see if it pops out with a larger one. Maybe it needs a bigger one to stick. I'm guessing, I think that one was too big, so I'm gonna try a slightly smaller one. Getting the glue off the paint. Don't use any metal, it will chip the paint. It nearly has all come off, but because I'm doing it again, I'm not too worried. So I'm gonna try a slightly smaller one this time. Uh, glue it on again and see if it pops up this time. If it doesn't, it's a fail. 
Same again then, put the glue on. We can all see that's piping hot. I said I didn't pay too much for this kit, I think, I don't know, 15 pound or something, because um, I had no faith in it. Sort of proved me right there, but that flew off a minute ago. Um, it feels like you can just pull a damn thing off anyway. But I'll give it a go and see if it pops up this time and I'll do it one quick little leverage again. So it's in the dent this time rather than sort of outside the dent. Let's give it another fit. And I did exactly the same bloody thing. It just pops straight off, doesn't even bond to this stupid thing. The other idea was to bond it here and stick it on there first. So this time I stuck it on the little gadget first and then pushed it on the tank. Maybe that'll bond better. Been on there about three minutes. That's definitely enough time for the glue to adhere and uh, be solid. And the last attempt. Right, it's three attempts, three different ones, two different ways, and that what it. Whew. Not happy. Maybe someone can show me how you properly do it, but for me, it didn't work. Worth a test, though. Like, share, subscribe. Take care of yourselves.